Hey everyone, Katherine Scanlon here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple splattery colored watercolor washi background. That was a mouthful. Um, I have chosen three analogous colors. Analogous means that they are next to each other on the color wheel. This is primary yellow, cadmium orange hue, and cadmium red hue. I have a piece of Strathmore paper paper towels. This is a recycled uh, spritz bottle that I have filled with water. And over here I have a piece of uh, plexiglass that I use as a palette. So the first, we're going to work with one color at a time. And the first thing I'm going to do is choose my light. I'm going to start with a lighter color first. And I'm just going to take a little blob of the yellow. You can see that that's not even as big as your pinky fingernail. Maybe, maybe. And I'm going to totally add a lot of water to that and get it super watery and I'm going to drip it on my page. Okay? And now I'm going to clean my palette because I don't want my colors to mix just yet. And there's enough water here on this palette, uh, on my paper, that the um, the uh, I guess I've used more than I thought. The uh, paint won't dry out before I get there. So this time I have a little bit more paint, so I'm going to mix it in with the spritzed water here. I want it to be more fluid than that. And oop. Um, I am going to now petal that on. And it's okay that the colors mix, remember, because we are not going to get mud. These colors work nicely together, so they will not create a mud and make a huge mess. So the last color is the cadmium red, and I'm going to put that on, and I'm going to drip it here and there, okay? And so I can put my palette away, and now I want to come in with a clean brush. My brush is right here, and I'm going to just spritz that around a little bit. You can move it if you want. You could get a straw and um, blow some of the color around if you want to. I've got this clean water here and I'm just going to guide the color around to fill the page. Now I'm making a simple background for a stamped uh, quote that I want to turn into a card. So there is a lot of water and a lot of juiciness here and I just really love the simplicity of creating something like this. Now, before this dries, I want to take my last, a technique that I shared with you last time, in one of my recent videos, and um, add some shimmer to it. So this is Interference Blue. Maybe that's not the color I want. This is Interference Gold, so I'm going to take some of that and spritz it here. I'll put a puddle there, and I'm going to water it down. And I'm going to pick up a bunch of that and just splatter it on the page. I don't know if you can see how the fluid acrylic kind of moves when the Interference Gold hits the page. It's just really awesome. Okay. And now I'm going to let this dry. You could go in with some other splatters of the other colors if you like them. As it dries and the color won't spread too much, that's always a great idea. Lots of splatters is always a great idea. So this is um, the perfect beginning for any kind of art journaling or card page 
But I don't know about you, but I see all these really cool quotes on the internet and uh, they just have this soft kind of watercolory look and my goal today was to create that. And I don't want to move the page because I don't want any of my colors to run, but I'll be back when it's time to stamp and show you what this looks like before I get any text on there. Okay, so now that my pages are dry, I'm going to stamp my quote on it. They turned out really cool. It's really hard for me to not do some doodling on this one, maybe after, and also this one. Alright, so I'm going to use my Misty, my most incredible stamping tool ever by Sweet Petunia. And I'm going to put my page in there. Because it's a little bit kind of curled up, I'm going to tape it down. But th that isn't going to be a problem after a little bit. The um, page will flatten out. Alright, so... I want it. Where do I want it? I think I'll put this one up here. And I'm going to use black archival ink because really that is the only stamping ink on this planet that's that I love. One of the things I like about this tool is if my stamp doesn't turn out to be that dark, I can re-ink it and stamp it again. I think I just needed a new pad, a yeah, stamp pad. This one, they need to definitely be re-inked. All right, so look how cool these two pages look. This one has a little bit of a simpler design, and this one has room for some doodling. All right, thanks for joining me today, and if you are interested in the stamp set, this is the Words of Wisdom 1 Cling Stamp Set from Art Gone Wild. I just wanted to pop on real quick and show you how I finished uh, these two pages or what I'm doing on them. For this one, I did a little bit of doodling around the two of the red dots here and um, outlined them with a black pen and added some gold and pink highlights. So you can see that there. And then I, I stamped my sentiment or the quote and I outlined the words in gold and I really like the way that looks. For this one I stamped one of my new stamps in this one right here and this is from the set that's called Words of Wisdom 2 and then I've got some doodling here around the edges that I'm going to fill in with a pen. You could totally make a mask for this stamp and stamp, you know, uh, more designs around. I think that would look really awesome. But if you're not a doodler, you could just create a simple border and be done with it. I do think that this one needs a little something um, extra um, to bring out the words. I think I'm going to find a white pen and add a shadow around the white pen. And that's how I finished them. One is going to go to a friend and the other one is going to go into my journal. Thanks for joining me and have a lovely day.